What's up, you YouTubers? So today I'm going to talk about this new story of a very selfish woman who comes out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. She starters seven kids. Now I want you guys to pay attention to this point I'm about to make. This mother was 27 years old with seven kids. Well, if we do the math, you can easily figure out what she has been doing in her younger years. But you know what? I'm not even going to make that point in this news story because it's the fact that that's not even relevant to what has happened or as nearly as bad as what she did to the seven kids. Okay, but she starved the seven kids. Okay, that's what she did. All right, and the reason why she starved her seven kids was because she said it wasn't enough food in the house for her kids. And not only was that what she said, but she was also a fat woman. All right, now I want you guys to look at this picture of her. You see that fatty McFat woman? Yeah. That's a very disturbing picture of her. You see that shirt she had on? That shirt was showing her hairy stomach and stuff. I was young. And did you guys see the children? The children look like a real skeleton just walking around. Very, very sickening. You, you can just look at them and tell they're not healthy at all. They haven't been eating or nothing. And you want to know why? Because everything in the house that has food in it is locked up. This crazy selfish trifling woman locked everything up in a house that has food in it just so that our kids can't get that because she uses the excuse of her being obese as a way to say that it is not enough food for you kids you seven kids and the fact that she has seven kids makes her even more trifling all right if you go have seven kids you need to make sure you take care of them okay instead of trying to starve your seven kids because now you're going to spend time in jail I don't understand. Every time I think about it, my feelings can't explain why you gotta be so trifling. It blows my mind. Oh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You starve your kids every day, and now you' about to go to jail. Hmm. But that woman needs to go to jail. In fact, she needs to spend the rest of her life in jail for starving her kids. Seven kids. You're going to starve them. If you didn't want to have them kids in the first place, well, you should have thought about that before you... Nah, I'm not even going to bring that up, but you should have been thinking. Instead of having seven kids. Seven kids. That just shows the type of world what a mother you are. Seven kids. And you just going to starve them. Just starve them. Lock up everything in your house that has food in it. The refrigerator. The cabinets. Anything that has food in it. You're going to lock up because there's not enough food in a house for them. You know, this reminds me of the old lady who ate a shoe, who ate a cat, who ate a human, who ate a house. She got so big, she kicked her kids out because there was enough room in the house. And I bet this is what is going to happen with this woman if she didn't get caught. Good thing she had some really caring neighbors who really cared about them children. Because them neighbors saw them kids digging out of the trash can for something to eat. And they saw how unhealthy they looked. They were even like surprised to see that they looked like a real skeleton. So that's how the police came to the house and how she got arrested. But you know what? It's time that she did. You don't do children like that. When you have children, you're supposed to take care of them. Those are your responsibility. And you do anything you can. And if you ain't got much food in your house, you better treat, you better put them first. Put them first. Because those are your main priorities. All right? But that's all I'm going to say about this and this very disturbing news story. Alright, hope you guys have a good day and goodbye.